how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. So, we're gonna do a Three Licks, One Palette video. I do these every single week, and this week we are playing with the brand new Ace Butte Oceanic Palette. I'm really excited to be playing with this. Well, technically I've already played with it. I'm excited for this video playing with this, is what I'm trying to say. I really enjoy Ace Butte's formula. I didn't have a problem with the Paradise Collection. The Flare Palette is my number one favorite palette ever. I love the color story. The formula is lovely. I think the pigmentation is beautiful. Ace Butte is very, I don't know, divided. People either love it or hate it. I truly can't understand why people hate it. I think it's... I think it's pretty great. I will go over my final thoughts on the palette and any nitpicky things I have at the very end of the video, but for now we're just kind of going over it briefly. This is what the palette itself looks like. The color story is so up my alley. I did not need another blue-green palette at all because I already had some blue-green based palettes. I just gotten the Certified Infinity 2. I already have the Whale Song pre-ordered and it will be here eventually. I did not need this, but I love the Flare palette so much, so I really wanted this one as well. <sighs> it just has my heart. I think it's really pretty. Do not ask me in the comments of this video if I prefer this palette or a different blue-green palette or which one I recommend. I'm not answering that in this video because I am going to do an in-depth comparing blue-green palettes videos once I have the Whale Song. I'm gonna do a good roundabout comparison kind of thing. I will say I don't feel like the Certify one dupes any of the shimmers in this one just based on what I remember. I haven't actually swatched them. I do feel like there are some similarities with the mattes, but I do feel like this one's almost a little bit more of a grungier blue-green palette. It has a little bit more of those, I don't want to say swampy because that sounds negative to some people, but more of those swampy tones, whereas I feel like the Affinity 2 has more brighter, more bold in the sense that they're just like extra vibrantly bright in the Certify Affinity 2. Not saying that these aren't vibrant and pigmented and bright because there's obviously bright pigmented shades. This one's just a little bit more grungy, I feel like. A little bit more on the darker side. I don't know how to explain it. You'll be able to kind of see the vibe that I get with my looks. You already saw from the intro. I kind of did this weird halo-y eye. I did more of that, I don't know, bluey, greeny, shimmery kind of look. And then I did that really pretty grungy, greeny, gold look. So let's just get into the tutorial portion of this video and then we will chat more about the palette at the end. Hello, good morning. It's Saturday the 8th and I have to work soon, of course, but I'm ready to play with this palette that I just dropped. I think I want to start by just taking seaweed and kind of just running that all through my crease. I think maybe I want to do something a little just d darker, deeper, grungier. Oh, this color. Ugh, I love a grungy, khaki, gray-green color. So pretty. I'm just swirling that all through the crease, focusing it on the outer corner, of course. I'm gonna take it on my lower lash line, and by the way, this is the Morphe R37. It's just a fluffy blending brush. You do not need this one specifically. What have you guys been up to? I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I haven't really talked to you in a little while. <laughs> just because a lot of my videos were pre-filmed and then two of the videos that I filmed when I got back were just very to the point because it was my first impressions with this palette and then my apocalyptic beauty video. And then I did my lesbian pride flag, flag look. I can't speak, it's too early. I love the way this color looks so much. But I want to now start deepening it up. I want to kind of place, I think I want to start deepening it up a little bit with Pacific, just a little bit. I'm taking this brush, this is a Morphe E17, it's really small, and I'm just gonna focus this towards the very bottom of kind of my crease zone. I don't think we really have any plans this weekend when I get off work. I think I might just have a lazy weekend since I was so busy with pre-filming and then the hair show. I might just want to relax. Of course, I'll probably still film some videos in the mix, but I don't think we're going to do anything crazy this weekend. Now I think I want to take a little bit of Lagoon and kind of place that right in the middle. This is one of the Anastasia Dual Ended brushes. I want this look to be almost murky. 
in a way I want it to just be like a very grungy, dirty blue kind of situation. And that first shade, the seaweed shade, is really perfect for murkying up things. Now I'm going to go back in with a little bit of seaweed and just start running that all through my crease again just to continue to blend everything out. Now I'm going to go back in with my beauty sponge that I used on my face to start pouncing along that outer edge. It really helps just kind of mesh things together. I like this little trick. And now for my entire lid, I think I want to place anemone and then maybe for my inner corner jellyfish. I think that could be really cute. So I'm going to use the packing side of that Anastasia dual ended brush and of course my NYX glitter primer because I use it with every shimmer ever. I'm going to squirt some of that on my brush and lay that down across my lid. And I don't think I'm going to do any kind of faux cut creasy looking stuff. I just want it to be blown out and grungy. So I'm dipping right into anemone which is that darker of the two golds and start packing it all across the lid. Oh, it's so pretty. I keep getting questions in the comments on my first impressions video about me comparing this formula to the other Ace Butte formulas. I mean, it feels the same as the Flair. I feel like the Flair is definitely an improved version of the Paradise Collection, but I don't have a problem with the Paradise Collection, personally. I think the shadows perform well. I, I just don't have any issues, so. I can't really tell you like, yeah, it's so much better because I didn't think it was bad before. So it's hard for me to compare it. I'm gonna flip that brush over now just to that other side. And I used, I think that third blue that we used just to start kind of buffing and blending out right along that inner rim. This gold is really pretty by the way. I'm not usually a huge gold eyeshadow person, but this one has almost a greenness to it. It's really pretty. And now I wanna dip into Jellyfish, which is that lighter of the two golds. Oh my gosh, that looks so cool. Wow. That's really, really cool. It like has a green glow to it. That's really, really freaking pretty actually. I might tap just a tiny bit of that just kind of over the top of this shade. I like this color. Ooh. I didn't think I would dislike this look, but I didn't think I would fall head over heels for this look, but wow. It's like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's, it reminds me of those fiber optics, but like make it grunge. <laughs> what do I want in my waterline? Maybe I want this like neon yellow. That could be kind of cool with how glowy the golds are. I think I'm gonna do that. I think that was a good decision. I'm gonna do the other eye now, pop on my lashes, something on my lips, and we'll finish this up. All right, so this is the end of look number one. I love it. I feel so pretty in this grungy, green, glowy look. I think it's so cool. I feel like it's a really unique look too. I don't think I've ever done anything quite like this. And I really like when I get a new palette and it kind of pushes me to do something that I wouldn't normally think to do. And this idea came really easy to me looking at this palette. So I really like that. That's how I know that I have something different in my collection. So that's really cool. Obviously I still have two more looks to do. I wanna play with all the shades in this palette in this Three Looks One Palette video so I can give you a pretty good idea on how I feel about it. But so far, two looks in, including my first impressions video, I'm really into it so far. For my lashes, I went with my Rouge and Rogue Miss Fury lashes. I forgot how pretty these lashes were. I'm gonna be wearing these again for a while. And then on my lips, I was going to go with this one from Black Moon Cosmetics. I'm pretty sure it was called Hazel, but the sticker came off, but it's not available anymore anyway. It would have been really cute, but I'm kind of glad I picked this very nude lipstick. This is Sand from Dose of Colors. I don't know. I think it looks really cool, and I'm excited to wear it for the rest of the day, and I don't know what else to say. Let's just move on to look number two. Hello, it's... Sunday. It's the day after yesterday's video or look, whatever. It's the day after yesterday. I don't know what we're doing. I want to do something kind of blue and green. I mean, what else would I be doing if it wasn't blue and green? I don't know though. I don't know what I want to do. I think I want to start by kind of putting algae through the outer half of my crease and then Bali through the front half of my crease. And for that, I just have two blending brushes. This one's an Anastasia dual ended one. And for the outside, I have just this ColourPop 
E2. It's stained, but it's not got pigment on it anymore. So we're just going to kind of do that, and we're just going to kind of hang out and chat. I'm in a really good mood today. I don't know why. I think it's just because I've been doing good, just kind of taking care of myself these last day and a half. <laughs> I got off work yesterday, and I, in my mind, I was going to film, even though I already filmed yesterday's look in the morning before work. My mind, I was going to film in the evening, but instead, I just... I had a late lunch with Zane. We got Indian food because I'm obsessed with it right now. I've been discovering my love for it. We played video games. I edited a tiny bit, a tiny bit. We watched Pet Cemetery. It was really good and it was really chill. This morning was more laid back. We went and got breakfast. We both cleaned parts of the house. I knew I wanted to film today, so that's what I'm doing now, but we just kind of blazed around. I didn't stress to just immediately get to working because as much as I love YouTube it's still like a job like I treat it as a job but I also have to give myself free time as well that algae shade is so freaking pretty I would just smear that all over my existence In Bali I'm just going to swirl through this whole little front portion the new pet cemetery was so good though so so good I feel like it hit a lot of different kinds of fears as far as scary movies go it wasn't just jump scare based it wasn't just gore it wasn't just paranormal it was kind of a good mix of all sorts of stuff and Zane really enjoyed it as well which is shocking because he doesn't really like scary movies for the most part he thinks they're stupid it's rare when there's a scary movie he actually is interested in but I want to know what your favorite scary movies are whether they're new or old it props to you if you find one that I haven't heard of Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this uh, the new movie coming out in, I think, September or August, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. It looks like it's going to be so cool. I've been getting a lot of compliments lately on my blending, which makes me really happy. <laughs> I, I don't know. I just, I feel like I've been practicing eyeshadow for so many years, so it's really kind of you guys to even take note that... You like what I'm doing. These two colors next to each other are what dreams are made of. We don't really have any other plans today though. I'm gonna film this. I might film a second video because I'm in a really good mood right now. I feel like it's a good time to film and I'm going to the gym with Morgan in a few hours but other than that we're just it's just a Sunday. So now I want to kind of deepen things up like I have this little brush here that I'm going to use with a little bit of Lagoon. It's a Morphe E17. I used this with this shade yesterday actually. And then I have this one that's stained but it doesn't have color on it that I'm going to use Turtle to kind of deepen up the outer half. We'll see how that goes. I'm going to start with Turtle. Because I might not go in with more blues so I'm definitely going to deepen up the greens. We've been catching up on some Black Mirror especially because the new season came out. The one with Miley Cyrus is such a good episode. So freaking cool. Zane and I have been talking about the idea of me getting like a discord so that those of you who want to be a part of it can just be a part of it and we can just have this little community of us and chat about literally anything. I think it could be really fun and especially while I'm still small, not that I expect to get big, but just while I'm still at the size I am, it's just I feel like it'd be a cool way for me to get to know you guys better, for you to even get to know each other better. I just want a cute little community of friendship and love and everything like that. Wow, I'm dropping everything. So just let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. It's definitely not going to be something that would cost money or anything like that. Zane's talked to me before about opening a Patreon, but I don't feel comfortable with that. I don't feel like I have anything to offer you guys that would be worth paying for. But I like the idea of a Discord, but only if you guys like the idea. I'm taking a little, little bit of Lagoon now. I barely tapped in and I'm also tapping off the brush with very light pressure. I'm just kind of going through and just very lightly deepening right where it's at my crease. Guys, I'm loving this palette. I don't even know how to express my love. I don't know how people have problems with the Ace Pute formula. I just think it's so lovely. Everything blends so nicely. It's so pigmented. I feel like the shadows layer well. And I just, I love it. I'm so impressed with them every time I use their stuff. So, I, I don't know. I guess it's just different preferences. People have asked me to compare these to specifically other shadow brands, and I just, I don't know if I could really compare it. Like, they are a little bit drier of a formula, but not as dry as, like, Sugar Pill. Like, they're not crazy buttery to the touch, but they're also very blendable. I don't really know how to explain it. 
They're not too fallouty or anything like that. So I knew I wanted kind of like Bora Bora Bay, maybe this green one across my lid. And I thought I was gonna do it in cut crease form, but I don't think I want to anymore. I think I want the shadows to just be kind of blended, you know? You know? I think what I might do is kind of just make a mixture of Bay and Mykonos, if I'm saying that correctly. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I am going to use the packing side of this Anastasia dual ended brush that I used for the blue earlier. I'm putting my NYX glitter primer on that brush. I'm going to tap that all across my lid. As much as I love a good cut crease, I just haven't really been in the mood lately, you know? So now I'm simply just going to take Bay and Mykonos and just kind of swirl them together to kind of make a hybrid bluey greeny kind of color. And just going to smear that all across the lid. I feel like these shadows last a really long time on my eyes too, by the way. Like I wore them all day yesterday. I looked in the mirror at night. They looked as beautiful as ever. My face makeup wasn't looking so hot because I've been having skin issues lately. I don't know what's going on with that. My eyeshadow looked bomb. And I was getting compliments on it even seven hours after I put it on. This is so cool. The way it kind of transferred on my lid, it has almost a marbly effect. I don't know how that happened, but I'm okay with it. There's just so many cool reflex in both of these shimmers, so it just bounces off each other. And then now I'm just going to take the brush that I used with the blue. I mean, I'm just flipping the brush over. Wow, loud trucks outside. It's been so rainy here in Florida. It's disgusting. Do not ever vacation here in Florida in the summer if you know what's best for you. All it does is rain. And when it's not raining, it's disgustingly hot and humid. I'm loving this look. I feel like mother freaking earth with this look. And I think I want to take Bora Bora, which is the lighter blue. I'm just going to use my pinky finger because I don't feel like dirtying a brush. I have an eyebrow hair that just fell onto my face. <laughs> what is going on? So pretty. I do want to take my face highlight though. I've been using the Jeffree Star Crystal Ball highlight on my face. I don't even know why because these highlighters aren't my favorite at all, but I just, I guess I just felt like busting something out that I haven't played with in a bit. And I'm just going to pop that right on top just to add a little bit of extra gleam. Yeah, that's, woo, that's pretty. I feel like his highlights, honestly, they work better as inner corner highlights and eyeshadows than they do on the face. Like it doesn't look horrible on the face. This is one of the better ones that he has, but ooh. That's really cute. I don't know what I want in my waterline though. Maybe I want this neon blue that Bridget gave me. But I also kind of want the neon green. Maybe I'll kind of mix the two. I'm gonna put the blue down first and then put the green on top of it and try to fuse them together. So this one is called Electric from LA Girl and then this one is Electric Daisy. And by the way, the one that I used yesterday was crossed. I realized when I was editing yesterday's look that I didn't say it. So I'm gonna put these in my waterline. So I don't know how well you can really tell, but I mostly focused the green just on the outer half and the blue on the inner half. But the blue did go all the way across. I just put this kind of on top of it halfway through. I don't know, it's a cool effect. I'm obsessed with colored eye pencils. I guess now I'm going to do the other eye. I'm gonna throw on my lashes, something on my lips, and we'll finish this up. Yeah. <laughs> all right, this is the end of look number two. Yeah, too. I like how it came out a lot. I literally feel like the earth. I think it's really cute. I went with the same Rouge and Rogue Miss Fury lashes and on my lips I got one of the Lip Blaze cream liquid lipstick things. What is this even called? Butter and Glaze? Liquid lipsticks from Lime Crime. This is in the shade Clover. I was really intrigued by these lipsticks when they launched them and they had a sale a couple weeks ago. It was only like $3 off but I knew I wanted to try it so I picked up two shades and this is one of them and it's so incredibly comfortable. It feels like I'm wearing a lip mask. It's so, it's one of the most comfortable lip, like lip products besides just a lip mask that I've ever worn. I love it and I love this color so much. And I mean, this is the end of look number two. I guess let's just move on to look number three. Hello, good morning. It's Monday, the day after yesterday's look. I think today I want to do kind of a green halo eye. And I also realize I don't know if I've mentioned it in my other two looks. I feel like it's pretty, I don't know, common sense, but I did prime my eyes. I used the Smashbox 
I'm not using the Smashbox lid primer anymore. I'm out of that one. This is the Sigma eyeshadow base. This one is in the shade Ignite, and I've really been enjoying it. And I do not set it with powder because I just don't do that. I like my base to be a little tacky still. I want to take Seagrass. I haven't used this shade yet, and I think it looks cute. I'm just taking a kind of medium-ish, medium to large-ish size blending brush. I can't speak this morning. What time is it? It's 9 o'clock in the morning. I already... Woke up, did my normal morning stuff, took Zane to work. I went to the hair supply store to pick up some things, and here we are. I'm going to film this video. I think I'm going to film another video because I have a little bit of time before I have to work at noon. Obviously, I have like three hours, so going to do that, and I mean, that's going to be it. I work all day until 8 o'clock ish maybe even a little bit later and then going to the gym with morgan tonight so basically i'm just taking this shade all the way from inner to outer corner and i'm not really winging it out insanely i'm sure that will happen as i blend because i just always do that but as of right now it's just staying like this and i'm also going to take it under the lower lash line but i really want to try to focus this just in the outer and inner portion i don't really want to carry this through the middle because I do feel like I want to do kind of a halo eye where the middle is very bright and shiny. We'll see how it goes, though. I end up getting shadow in the middle. It's not a big deal. This shade is flawless, man. This is such a pretty green. I think now I want to begin kind of buffing that out. I kind of want to mix these two because I want it to be bright, but I also want it to be grungy. So I'm just going to kind of dip into algae and seaweed and kind of just create a weird hybrid shade. And I'm just going to take that on a slightly larger fluffy brush and just start blending right above what we just did. Ugh, my bangs are driving me nuts. You guys think it's so funny when I push my bangs out of the way, but <laughs> it drives me crazy. And no, I'm not just going to clip them out of the way because then they might stay like that. And I like to not have to wash them very often, so... I'm liking the look of that. I'm going to take my beauty sponge and just tap over that outside edge and also a little bit on the inner portion. I can't speak. <laughs> and I want to deepen it up a little bit now. I want to take turtle. I might mix a little bit of Pacific into that as well. Mostly turtle, a little bit of Pacific just to add some nice depth. And I'm really just going to focus this little combo right in the outer and inner portion. I'm not going to drag this through the crease or anything like that. I just want depth to be in the outer portions. This is a little e.l.f. crease brush. I really, really like this brush. It's the tapered blending brush. It's really small and precise. I want like a hundred of these brushes. I have like five of them, but I want 95 more. This is so pretty. I love this so far. I'm going to take that first brush that I used with that first green shade just to lightly buff around using very light pressure. And then I'm going to take that bigger fluffy brush with maybe just a little bit of just algae, the lighter green. Very light pressure again. I don't want to go ham. Maybe it's just because I have a habit of making pretty much any palette grungy, but I just feel like this is a very grungy blue-green palette, and it's so cool. All right, so I want to kind of cut the inner portion of my eye just a little bit. I'm not going to do it too precise. I'm just going to take my Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas, just tap a little bit right where there is that blank portion, kind of look up a little bit so I can kind of see... You know, maybe I will make it a little precise. I was going to not because I get scared to do that because it's just something I struggle with doing like the halo cut creases, but I kind of feel like challenging myself now. So you can kind of see where my eye transfers. I'm just going to, I put a little bit more on the brush. I'm just going to start kind of dragging it down and trying to perfect this little cut. I think that is 
pretty much the best that I'm ever gonna get it. And I think I wanna put jellyfish all over the lid. That's what I'm thinking. Taking my next glitter primer, someone yesterday asked me to show how much I use. I literally just take like a, I don't know, just like a little, little dot of it. I don't use a ton. And I just place it on the eye where I want it to be. It's nothing too precise or crazy. And now I'm gonna dip into jellyfish. I love this shade so much, it's so pretty. And I want this focus right in the center of my eye. I think I'm gonna go in with a different shimmer on the, on like either side of it. But I do want this to take over this whole top portion. Hmm, and now I think I wanna dip into Marina, which is the darker bluey kind of color. I don't know why, I just kinda wanna dip into Marina. And I want to place that just right on either side of this. And I just use the same brush. I just flipped it over to the other side. And I'm just dipping in very lightly. It's not insanely impactful right off the bat because I'm dipping in so lightly. I don't want this to get out of control. I want to control the shadow. I don't want the shadow to control me. And we're doing almost kind of a rough V-like shape with these shades. I don't know. It's like precise, but also not. And I'm just gonna keep going back and forth between both sides of that brush just to kind of smudge these edges until it all kind of flows. I want it to be a pretty good gradient between the green, the blue, the gold, everything. I'm gonna take that very first brush we used too, just to kind of run right on this edge. Even though I did kind of cut the crease, I just want to soften some of that edge a little bit. Not going in too rough though. I also want a little bit more of algae just right at the tippy top, that's the brightest green. I'm liking the vibe of this. I want to now take a little bit more of that NYX Glitter Primer just on the tippy top of this brush, kind of the edge, and I did wipe off both sides of that brush. And I want to pop some of that right in the center, and then dip into Jellyfish, and pop that kind of right there. And then I'm gonna take the little brush that I had earlier, just to kind of wiggle right along that edge so we can kind of Get a little bit of a blend forming. Now I'm gonna take Jellyfish yet again. I'm just taking a little fluffy brush. I want to highlight my inner corner with that. I love this Jellyfish shade so freaking much. I feel like this look is weirder. <laughs> like not in a bad way, it's just more weird. I just tried to do a bunch of different things, but I like the look of it. It's very oil slicky. It's kind of cool. I almost wish I didn't cut that crease though. I don't like the way that looks. I'm gonna go in with that little brush and I don't have any additional product. I'm just gonna kind of run that right where that shimmeriness is in my crease, just to diffuse it out a little bit more, because now I don't like that. That's a lot better. I like that being a little bit softer. What do I want in my waterline? Do I want to go with the neon green again? <laughs> oh, I just might. I just might. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> this is Electric Daisy from ColourPop. And now I want some of this Alien Aesthetic Glitter, just a little bit. It's from Apocalyptic Beauty. You can use my code BUTBEAN for 15% off if you choose to. But there's lots of cool little green stars in this glitter, so I'm just gonna kind of grab a few of them and adhere them to parts of my eye with lash glue, because I think it'll be cute. But always be careful with chunky glitters around your eyes because they can cut you if they get in your eye, so just be careful. Technically not eye safe, but I'm being a rebel right now. Just a couple little stars, it's cute. And I guess now I'm gonna do the other eye, throw on my lashes, something on my lips, and we'll finish this up and I'll give you my thoughts on this palette. All right, so this is the end of look number three. I think it's so pretty. I feel really good in this. I'm going to work all day and it'll be fine. These are the same Miss Fury lashes from Rouge and Rogue. I'm a little bit obsessed right now, now that I've rediscovered them. And on my lips, I went with Warm and Fuzzy by Dose of Colors. I don't know why. I just thought a pink lip might look cute with this look. So here we are. I like it. And now let's just move on to the end of the video and chat about my thoughts about the palette. All right, that's it. Those are my looks. Which one was your favorite? <sighs> I liked them all so much. I feel so good in all these looks. I really like that first look though. Something about that grungy, greeny gold look just really, really had me feeling good. So it might be that one. That one might be my favorite. But you let me know. What do you think of this palette? What do you think of my looks? Do you have this palette? Do you want this palette? What are your thoughts about it? 
What do you think about the Ace Butte formula? Like I said in the beginning, I love this formula. I think it's lovely. I don't understand how people struggle with it the way they do because it's so easy for me to work with. I don't have issues. The mats are so pretty. I will say, as much as I enjoy Ace Butte shimmers, they are not my favorite shimmer formula. Like, I like shimmers that are a little bit more wet feeling, like the Juvia's Place ones, for instance, or even like... I can't think of another example, like the Pinky Rose ones or even like the Menagerie Cosmetics ones. Those ones are a little more, I don't know. It's a different kind of texture. These ones are a little bit harder, but they aren't hard, hard either. I don't know. These are a fine formula. I really like this formula, but if I'm going to be nitpicky, the shimmers are not my favorite in the world, but I still really enjoy them. The mattes I have zero issue with. I think they blend beautifully. I think they layer on top of each other nicely. I think they blend well. I tried different techniques with the mattes. I played with so many different shadows. I didn't have problems with patchiness or blending or anything like that. I think everything went smoothly. I didn't have to work extra hard or spend any extra time. I don't have issues. That's the bottom line. I like this formula. I can't compare it to another formula specifically because every formula is different. Just know that I really do enjoy it. If you are into similar things to me, then maybe you would too. Maybe watch some more reviews and get more insight if you're concerned about not liking it. But I personally like it a lot. I don't have an issue. I don't understand why it has so many complaints. Not that it has so many complaints, but just the people that don't like it really don't like it. And I, I don't get it. I really don't get it. I plan on doing a multi-palette bingo with that palette and the flare palette soon. So stay tuned for that. I also want to do another kind of Ace Butte full-on multi-palette bingo with all of my Ace Butte palettes. That'll happen eventually, but it's not probably going to be anytime soon because I have a very packed schedule this month. And like I said, once I have Whale Song and I've kind of played with it, I will be doing an in-depth comparing blue-green palettes videos. I have lots of palettes I want to include in that video, so just stay tuned for that. And then maybe that will help you make your decision on which one you need if you still can't decide. You definitely don't need multiple blue-green palettes unless you're like me and you just love them so much. But if you're just looking for one specifically, then I don't know. Just pay really close attention to the color story and what you feel like you would gravitate towards the most. Obviously, they're all similar because they're blue-green, but they do all have a different feel to them. You know what I mean? I have a feeling Whale Song is going to be very similar to Ace Butte as far as the kinds of looks you can create because it's more of those oceany blue-green tones rather than just typical blue-green tones. I don't know how to explain it. I feel like I'm rambling, so I'm just going to end it here. If you enjoyed this 3 looks 1 palette video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, please hop over to my Instagram. It's Butte and follow me there. I post every single day, and don't forget to subscribe here before you leave. I post at least five days a week, but it's usually six or seven. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Okay, bye!